I'm Jens Schmidt, uh, I'm an MSAT chemist, so I work for the MSAT department within small molecules. Um, we do support large-scale manufacturing, so basically everything from troubleshooting, tech transfer, second generation, optimization, so everything that covers the commercial phase of the product. If you think about high throughput experimentation, we want to look at smaller scale and parallelization. So you can do things, many, many things in parallel. So particularly if you're working on an early phase project, if you're working on um, route, route selection, or if you're working on catalyst screening, ligand screening, solvent selection, this is the way you want to go. The, the intention is to make to, to get a, a robot which is as complete as possible, so we can cover mainly everything we want to do. So you can think of SNAR reactions as always a, a thing in, in small molecules, hydrogenations, cross couplings, name it, you can most likely do it on the scale. The big highlight is that you can actually sample under pressure and at high temperature, which is really difficult if you think about handling that manually. With these capabilities, you can basically screen all of the solvents that are interest. So, you have the, the possibility to do whatever you want, right? But if you think about parameters, then you can do center of experiments. High temperature, low temperature, center point. High catalyst loading, low catalyst loading, center point. But you get a very good understanding of the chemistry, so you can start at the right point, right? You don't have to guess with manual experimentation, one experiment after the other, and find the right way to go. You can directly start at the good point and then investigate the experiments that have to be done manually, like scale up, for example. This will not save everything, but it will give you a very clear direction where you want to go. It's not giving you the creativity, right? It will just do what the, what the person tells them, but it can do a lot of work and it can, you know, it can just make life in the lab a little easier.